Isaac was the living embodiment of all God's promises to Abraham. And God asked him to sacrifice that. Imagine waiting for something for 25 years and then being asked to start back at zero. And yet, Abraham was willing to. God didn't make him sacrifice his son, but Abraham found out that he valued God more than anything else. Similarly, the story of Job makes the same kind of point. In Job, they're trying to find out, is he righteous for God's sake? Or is he righteous just for the blessings that come along with it? And when everything is taken away from him, Job says, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away, but blessed be the name of the Lord. And so we can ask ourselves, do we have this same desire? Do we desire God over anything else? And for most of us, we don't have to make these huge life-altering sacrifices like Job and Abraham did. Most of the time, we have to wrestle with sacrificing the smaller things. Giving up 30 minutes of sleep in the morning so you can start your day with prayer. Giving up an hour of video games so you can spend more time reading the Bible. Giving up your rights that you might have as an older or younger sibling in the family so that you can better love your brother and sister. Giving up a Saturday to help someone in need rather than lay around the house. These are the kinds of things that we usually have to ask ourselves if we're willing to give up. And so I want you to think, are you willing to give up any of these things or things like them if doing so would help you better know Christ? Christ.